Hey, thanks, Carlos. Yeah, I'm now with Lenny Thomas of Tyler Perry's Ruthless. Lenny, thank you so much for joining us. Hey, thanks for having me. I'm happy to be here, seriously. Hey, uh, first off, let me ask, what does a creative person like yourself do to maintain san a sanity during a pandemic? Like, are you, <laughs> I'm assuming you're not insane right now. No, I'm working on maintaining the sanity, but it's always, it's always troublesome, especially living in New York City, even if there was no pandemic. But um, I wake up every day, I work out, I meditate, I do yoga maybe three or four times a week, and I read as many um, self-development books as I can get my, wrap my mind around. And then um, when everything is said and done, I'll, I'll put like PlayStation on and just zone out in a video game or something, because it's, what else can I do? <laughs> Whatever works, right? Whatever works. Yes, pretty much, yeah. Um, also, you can go back and catch up on uh, Ruthless, because I find it amazing. You guys really just kind of launched, uh, was it March? March 19th? Yeah. March 19th, yep. During yeah, the pandemic, it seems like that's a year ago, but that's not that long ago. What's the reaction? Yeah, that's, that's a good point. Um, it's only been a little over a month. It feels like it's been a little over a year. It's, yep. it's, but um, the beautiful thing about this show is, is that, I mean, selfishly, it feels like I, you know, Christmas every week. I don't know if anyone celebrates, but yeah, like <laughs> Wednesday night, I'm up. Because it, uh, uh, it premieres uh, midnight in California or <laughs> L.A. time, uh, Pacific time. But it premieres 3 a.m. over here in New York. So I'm up at 3 a.m. watching Ruthless every time it drops. But yeah. As you should be. <laughs> Let's talk a little bit about it. it is, it's a spinoff from another Tyler Perry show, The Oval. Yes. And it's about a cult, a sex cult. Yeah, it's about a woman who gets involved in this crazy fanatical sex cult trying to, you know, get a better life for herself and her child. Uh, but I don't believe she knew what she was getting herself involved in until she's literally thrown into the fire. And, oh my gosh, it just gets, every episode is, there's a cliffhanger ending. Every single episode, yeah. And your so, character uh, is the right-hand man of the highest, the cult leader. Yes, I am the enforcer of the Rakudushi cult, right? Which means um, anyone who steps out of line, I'm the, the disciplinarian. And I, and I t he clearly takes pride in what he does. Um, does, does he relentless. he's a bad guy? You think he thinks he's a bad guy? Oh, no, he doesn't think he's a bad guy. Well, I think he's, he's battling with his identity throughout the, the course of the, the season. But initially, I don't think he thinks he's a bad guy, no. Mm -mm. But the bad guy is fun to play. Villains. What's that? The bad guy is fun to play. Too much fun. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Like, <laughs> I, can't do, I would never do half the stuff I did in this show. In per I mean, I'm just not that person. But interestingly enough, uh, about two days before we wrapped the show, we were filming some of the most like intense scenes of my character. And I didn't want to do it. I was like, I love my cast. Oh my goodness, I love my cast. And I was like, guys, I'm tired of treating y'all like traps. This is, <laughs> I can't do this. I can't, I'm struggling right now. I'm having nightmares. I, gar <laughs> I guarantee that you did it. I did though. <laughs> I, I did, I did. <laughs> hey, what, what's it like to be a part of uh, the Tyler Perry world? I got to tell you, I interviewed Gabrielle Union once and I asked her right after she had done a Tyler Perry movie, and I said, what's the, what's the difference between working with Tyler Perry and not Tyler Perry? And she said, I thought it was real funny. She said, um, well, the checks don't bounce. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so there, there, there's baseline right there, but then what's the difference for you? The difference, pace. I've never worked so fast and so hard in my entire life. Like the entire cast and crew were trying to keep up with him. Um, somehow we didn't, we didn't hit over 12 hours. What's that? He doesn't screw around. He doesn't. He doesn't. And you better be ready to play when it's time to go. And I've, I made sure that I was, you know what I mean, as attentive and on top of it as possible. I barely had a chance to breathe, honestly. Um, I think I had around 600 pages of dialogue to remember, to, to memorize. Yeah. That's a book. That's like, that's, <laughs> that's what you call it. That's uh, Game of Thrones. You know what I mean? Like, what? So, yeah. Um, now, um, we, can't, we can't binge the whole season. They are giving it to yeah. us a week at a time, which is a good, uh, good thing for those of us who over binge. Right now, yeah. we're on uh, uh, episode six. 
Yes. Episode um, six. What can we expect the rest of the season without giving me anything away unless you want to give me some scoop? Well, I can't throw the whole show under the bus, but I love this saying that every dog has its day. Uh -oh. So the characters who you see being diabolical right now and are winning right now are gonna they're gonna they're gonna face the music uh, towards the end of the season. Most of them, I'm not gonna say all of them, but because some characters just some of the evil characters they just they don't lose. They just don't. Yeah, you might be looking at one of them. <laughs> <laughs> Very. You do, but you do a great job. Congratulations on all of it. Thank you. Hey, and also Thank you. a belated happy birthday. You just had a little birthday, didn't you? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. I'm sure next year's birthday will be a little different than uh, this one, but uh, uh, happy birthday anyway. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I hope so. I still had a blast, though. I, I, there were so many surprises that came my way. Good job. Uh, All right. Stuck in the house. <laughs> Ruthless airs every Thursday night. Yes. On or BBC just Thursday night. morning. I think they, yeah, they, they premiere... Midnight if you're on the West Coast, 3 a.m. if you're on the East. 3 o'clock in New York. Yeah. <laughs> if, you're watching, if you're watching in New York, you know you will not be watching alone because Lenny is up. Yep, I'll be right there with you. And you can go back, <laughs> you can catch up on the whole season and then every Thursday or Wednesday morning, every yes. Thursday you can uh, catch a new episode. Congratulations. Thank you so much for talking to us. Hey, my pleasure. Thanks for having me, seriously. All right, we'll see you on TV. All right, take care.